What's going on? The Book of Han. The Banzhou edition. Hmm. Yeah. So many annotations. Through the mist of northern Yi is like a flock of animals in tents. There were people who saw mirages in the western regions. Mirages? Uh, yeah. When father and I went to Roran, we did see a mirage. How would a mirror palace made like you know all that? Why couldn't a palace made know it? Ignore Madame Du. Ever since her leprosy, she's become quite eccentric. I heard she was an official who used to manage the history books. But now, she only manages this place. An official? That's right. Why are you reading history books? Oh, I heard palace maids will be tested on it in the civil service exam, so I brought it here to read it. <laughs> you want to become an official. <laughs> Yan Zhou, did you hear that? This fourth rank palace maid daydreams of becoming an official while idling here in the courtyard. It's no daydream. I'm almost recovered now. Perhaps Grand Concubine Zhou will have someone come for me soon. Palace maids can be promoted to female officials through exams, so shouldn't I at least try? To fetch you, huh? You've been here for more than 10 days. Have you ever seen a palace maid leave? Once in Jingxin Courtyard, you won't be able to go out again. Well, I don't care. When I arrived here, this place was just like a mass grave. But now, after hard work, it looks better. I've been here for eight years, and I've never seen such on the verge of death's stubbornness. If you could predict everything, you wouldn't have been sent to this place, waiting for death like us, despite your high rank. You! So if there's nothing else, I'm going back now. Hold it. I have something to say. If I could help you leave Jingxin Courtyard, what would you do to repay me? Records. Three strategies on heaven and man. Gong Yuan Zhuang. It's like the Imperial Archive in here. I've emulated Ban Zhao my entire life. The late emperor paid me well to manage the history books. This is only a small collection. <laughs> Madam, I didn't know you were so knowledgeable. Please forgive me for offending you before. It's not necessary, but I'd like to make a deal with you. Please instruct me directly, madam. My greatest works were annotating the Book of Han and records of the Grand Historian, but I caught this disease before I could finish all the transcription. If you need someone to do that for you, I'd be happy to. Just because I drank the herb water you prepared doesn't mean I respect you. Sit first. Write a few words for me. Sure.
Heaven and earth are a furnace, good fortune the worker, yin and yang are the coal, and all life the copper. Oh, you know Jia Yi's works. And you can write calligraphy, but it does lack strength. Well, madam, I was taught for three years by a teacher my family hired, and I would sometimes read here and there. I can tell at a glance that you're not very studious. Let me test you. The happy birds sing on the islet in the stream. What does this mean? My teacher says it references an imperial consort's virtue, but to me it seems to be about a couple flirting on the beach. At least you're clever. Fine. Then I'll have someone take the manuscripts to you later and every day we'll work on it a bit. Write carefully. You mustn't make any mistakes. When you finish a scroll, bring it back to Jingxin Courtyard. Wait, bring it back? I'll send you back to Qing Jing Hall. <laughs> you mean that I can go out? No one can help you go, but I can send you back. I am still a high-ranking official. Thank you, madam. I won't make any mistakes. I'll be careful like you said. I give you my word. I'm going to pack. Madam Du, why don't you want me to do the transcriptions here? Do you think, I believe, someone who always recalled Jia Yi's On the Owl would be content to stay here, waiting for death with me? <laughs> why did your father fall ill after just a few days? I heard you were sent away for treatment. I was so worried. Let me see. You've lost weight, but you look energetic. Yes. Thankfully, Liu Xu and Hore found a physician for me. So I was able to recover quickly. Yes, it's only our duty though. As long as you take your medicine regularly, you'll get well. Grand Concubine Joe, take care of your health too. It's the only way we maids have any hope. Yes. Oh, I learned how to make honey jujube cakes. If you go walking tomorrow, I'll gather some fruit and make you some. Good. Sounds great. Come, sit down here. Mm. Listen to me, okay? You have to eat more, or you'll become too thin. Okay? Mm. Hmm. That wretched Huan Yun. Who does she think she is? Aunt. It isn't the first time that she has opposed us. You don't need to get so angry. Yu Chao died, unfortunately. Gao Jun's not easily tempted. It took us a year before she won his trust. A hard life was her fate. Gao Jun lives at Xiu Wen Hall. The place is impregnable. Without Yu Chao, it'll be hard to arrange for another informant. Oh, aunt, don't worry. The medicine. He's been taking it, am I right? These few days, I've sent many people to monitor him, so I'm confident that he won't be playing any tricks. Here comes the new favorite. With some jujube cakes, you're now a third rank maid. What a well calculated move. Oh, Liyoshi, you're mistaken. I didn't plan that. I just wanted to serve her well, that's all. You aren't going to fool me. Try and impress her as much as you want. It's not my business. But don't blame me for not being able to look after you. Why do you sigh? It's you! Hey, 
Last time you told me that you come see me, but I've been ill so long. Where'd you go? Huh? You're ill? When did that happen? Here, put this on. But no, I can't. Hey, don't act tough now, all right? Keep it on. Mm. You know, I wanted to transfer you out of Qingjing Hall, but then I thought about it, and here you can avoid the Imperial harem. Mm. And besides, Grand Concubine Cho is my grandmother's generation, and she really likes you, so I think it's good for you to stay here. Mm. And I really like her, too. Lu Zhen! <gasps> Who are you talking with? Uh, no one. I wasn't talking with anyone. I saw you talking to a man here just now. Huh? Your eyes were playing tricks. Really? Of course. Then what's this? Uh... Speak up. Who's the man you met in private? I didn't. You won't admit it, huh? I bet you're after a whipping from Eternal Affairs. You'll admit it then. I really didn't. Fine. Off to the Internal Affairs then. I didn't. I really didn't. I... It's quite late. Who are you taking away? Uh, why are you here, Grand Concubine? It's late and quite windy. If you fall ill, the physician will nag you. I asked you a question. Did you hear it? Grand Concubine. Lu Jen met a man in private. You see, this is the man's cloak. Oh. This used to belong to the late Emperor. This that you refer to as that man's cloak. I must have been blind. I didn't know it was the late Emperor's. You behave without scruples because you think that I'm mild-tempered. The late Emperor's cloak has been kept here such a long time that you've never taken it out for airing. Why? You see, I told Lu Jun to take it out and dust it. And you interrogate her? Lu Jin, come. Over here. Yes. Now listen to me. I have grown quite fond of Lu Jin here. So none of you will bully her. Liu Xu, tomorrow, tell the Internal Affairs Department that I'll promote her to a second-rank palace maid. If any of you dare to even think ill of her, then on this new year, when I see His Majesty, I'll have to report your attitude. I understand, and I wouldn't dare. Then you may go now. Yes. Good girl. Don't be scared. He's only an Imperial bodyguard. We're children on the grasslands. It's not a big deal. Just now, he came to plead with me. I saw him. He's a very good young fellow. So, just don't you worry. Just get back and rest. Take the evening off. Thank you, Grand Concubine. Lu Jen! Lu Jen. Sister, you know, your status has changed. You shouldn't be staying here. How about moving to the West Wing? We have individual rooms there, and it's more spacious. Go. Help your sister to pack. Yes. 
Let me. Come. Madam Lou, may I place your things here? Uh, hey. Don't act like that. We're still sisters, right? Mm. Yes, okay, sure. But I've heard all about you, though. Through the years, there's never been a palace maid promoted two whole ranks in just two days. So now you're a big shot, you know? Mm. Acacia honey from Sister Liu Xu. It's very sweet. Acacia honey? Mm. Wow! Food again? Thank you, madam. Let me know if you need anything. Goodbye. Poison? Keep it down! It's not poison. It's just some almond powder. It'll cause the Grand Concubine to have a fever. If someone finds out, what then, huh? Keep it secret and no one will. I only want to teach Lu Jen a lesson. She hasn't been here very long, but it's like she's taking over the place. Lu Xiu, Grand Concubine Zhou only cares for her. Just look around Jing Ching Hall. Who here still respects us? Even so, you can't just... It's... When we arrived here to serve, she was ill four or five years. Lu Jen's here for barely a month, and she's already better. If internal affairs hears of this, we'll both be in trouble. We'll be reprimanded at the very least. At worst. Why hasn't that bodyguard come back to see you for so long? Grand Concubine. Enough. Tell me. Don't keep me in the dark here. Um, he had a letter sent to me to say he's been busy. Shall I decide for you? Let the two of you get... Uh, easy. Perhaps I should help you to bed for a rest. I don't know why, but after that bowl of medicine yesterday, I, I've been feeling so dizzy. Grand Concubine, are you okay? Oh no, someone help! Over here! Get the physician! Call yes. the physician here! Wake up now, please! Wake up now, please! Oh, please. Hurry, quickly now. Sister, what now? Why has she fallen so ill? Calm down. Were you this scared when you spiked her medicine? What are you so afraid of? If she dies of her illness, that would be great. Then we'd be able to leave Ching Ching Hall. You're right. Why didn't I think of that? Let's keep out of the Grand Concubine's matters a few days. If the Internal Affairs Department wants to blame anyone, <laughs> Lu Jen will take the blame.
You didn't see Miss Liu? That's right. I didn't see her. It's quite chaotic in Ching Ching Hall. I heard the Grand Concubine's ill. Miss Liu is her personal maid. That's why. Has a physician been sent over? One has. But he's only a ninth rank physician. Those palace maids don't seem to be attentive enough towards her. Most of them are only working half-heartedly, except those close to Miss Lu. But Miss Lu has a lot on her plate now, so I haven't had a chance to pass her the letter. The Grand Concubine's kind. She didn't recognize me before, but helped me still. I can't watch her suffer. Yan Lu? Yes? Go tell Madame Wong that I've heard that the palace maids in Qingjing Hall aren't doing their duty. Tell her to handle it. Yes. How dare you neglect the care of your master? Imperial Consort Xiao has ordered that you be punished if it happens again. Yes. 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 Get back to work. Madam, help me put in a good word with Consort Zhou, won't you? And pardon me for saying this, but Ching Jing Hall's the cold palace after all. When the maids heard Grand Concubine Zhou was ill, bad thoughts started to grow. Like if the Grand Concubine were to die, then they might escape this hellish pit. You girls are dreaming. She's from the Chihu tribe. So if it's her dying request, all of you here will be buried with her. Sister, is what she said the truth? I have heard that the Chihu have this custom. But it's only an ancient ritual. Let's stay calm. Perhaps she was lying to us. But if it's true then, then weren't we- Enough! Don't look so sad. Calm down, or it'll show on your face. Sister, you've been here all day. You should get some sleep. I can't. Her fever has just gone down. I'm worried. If only I could cover for you, I would. But I think I'd be more of a hindrance than a help. How about you ask Lu Xu and her Rei to cover for you? They're only good for putting on a show. You know that. Hey, they wouldn't dare be careless. Qin Jing Hall has changed ever since internal affairs came. And the physician said, the Grand Concubine has improved, and as long as she takes her medicine, she'll get well soon. Mm. Bring me the medicine, please. Mm. Go. What did you find out? Did they say anything? Yes, three years ago, there was a case where maids were buried with their master. Duchess Jin from Chihu tribe died of illness, and her four personal maids were buried with her. <sighs> Our master is a Chihu princess. Her majesty will consent if she wants to follow custom. She wants us to be buried with her? No way. If she's in a coma, she can't make that request. <laughs> You and I surely are of one mind. <laughs> I'll rope the others in. It'll be hard to keep secret. With them it'll work. And strike fast. Otherwise she'll be waking up soon. <laughs> She's staying in the West Wing. It's too late for me to go. Knock on her door quietly. Tell her Gao Chan would like to meet her at the rock garden. Gao Chan? But your highness, isn't your name Gao... Oh, I get it. You're still playing the old game of using an alias. But that's so outdated. I used to do that a long time ago when I was courting palace maids. <laughs> right. Oh, Yan Lu, just keep quiet. Don't be so annoying, right? <laughs> Mr. 
Miss Lou? Miss Lou? She's sleeping like a pig. What does His Highness even see in her? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> a rapist trying to steal my cookies! Shh, shh, shh. Be quiet, please. Stop yelling, okay? My name is Yuan Lu. His Highness, I mean, Gao John asked for you. You know him, right? You have to know him. Why are you acting like this? Just listen. Danyang. Just listen. Oh, oh? Uh, oh. No. You, you, uh, you were... Uh, uh, uh. You're not Miss Lu? You're Miss Lou then? Sister, sister, that guy is a rapist. He tried to steal my cookies. What? Uh, I'm no rapist. No, he isn't a rapist. He's, he's a steward. Huh? <laughs> Quite reasonable. Who's a rapist? As if I'd even be interested in you. You're so puny. As if you'd have the chance. Dream on. What? <laughs> Strangle you. <laughs> Strangle you. You don't need to be worried. The Grand Concubine is blessed. But you... Grand Concubine told me that although she only met you once, because you pleaded so boldly on my behalf, She thinks you're a friend of great worth. I doubt that's quite how she put it. But don't worry. Even if she passes one day, I'll be at your side to take care of you. Hey, uh, His Majesty needs me to do something. I'm afraid I won't be around for a few days, so take care of yourself here. Mm. And you too. Owen, you must divide the family property and leave home. So even if your stepmother wants to harm you, she won't have the power to do it. I didn't expect such foresight. It's said a man's life will have three major events. Promotion, fortune, and marriage. If I complete the first two events, does that mean I'll be able to complete the third one soon? Don't talk nonsense or I'll ignore you. <laughs> All right. Hey, it's getting late, so I should really be going. I'll see you again when I return. Mm. <laughs> Yanlu! Huh? Let's go. Okay. Is that guy and you like, you know? Uh, what do you mean, huh? Uh, we're just friends. Oh. Ah. Sister, rest assured, my lips are sealed. I won't say a word. Oh, you. <laughs> Hurry, bring me the residue of her medicine quickly. All right. What are you doing? Not your business. Let's go. Hold it. Huh? What's this? The medicine. <laughs> The Imperial Physician said to keep this a spare. Why are you... What are you doing? Hurry up! Take them away! Stop shouting, and I'll let you go. What did you do to her medicine? Yeah, better you don't know. You... How dare you harm her! I'm going to report you! Go! I dare you. You think I'm afraid? Listen to me. The Grand Concubine's days are numbered. She's on her deathbed. But if she wakes, we'll all be buried with her. At her request, according to Chi Hu rules. Impossible! Earlier, they didn't believe either. So they went to ask about it in the palace, and that convinced them to join us. 
But Jen, I know you're a good person, but can you throw away our lives just for the grand concubine? <laughs> just look at them. Can you really bear to see your sisters buried alive with her? The grand concubine's good. She would never do that. In any case, I can't allow you to harm her. Danyang, let's go. We won't reveal this plot. But you better behave now. Come. All right, stop crying. Go on out. We should have gotten rid of her, shouldn't we? What do you know? If she were to suddenly disappear, it would raise too much suspicion. But don't worry. There are many people involved. So she wouldn't dare. But still, I worry about what she'll do. As they say, if it troubles you, eliminate it. Don't. Do you think they're going to try to silence us? I don't want to die. There's so many food I haven't tried yet, and my cookies will go to calm down. If they were going to, then they would have. We have to think of something. We have to think carefully and find someone to help us. That's enough. It's not that bad. You needn't be so scared. It's just a burial service for the dead. It's very serious. Grand concubine soul's good. She's good? <laughs> Here. There are no good people. If she dies, she can enjoy her next life. Instead of being in Ching Jing Hall suffering. So why be so frightened? Those two ladies sent you here to await your death before. Did you forget about that? What do you mean? Your Excellency. Can you explain to me? Can't understand a simple thing. And you want to be an official? Was her falling ill because of you? Mm. Then, if she wakes up, what's that to you? Isn't it settled then? If she doesn't wake, you won't be buried with her. So whatever they're up to, you just stay out of it. And if she dies then, internal affairs will punish them for not serving her well. By then, whether they're beaten to death or sold as slaves doesn't matter, because you'll have sought revenge for the Grand Concubine. That's not enough. The Grand Concubine... That's enough now. If you weren't helping me with my manuscripts, I wouldn't even bother giving advice. That's all I'll say. You must decide what you will do. Don't worry. If you are buried with the Grand Concubine, the Imperial Court is sure to reward you. At the Hungry Ghost Festival, I won't need to burn jaw sticks for you. Yan Shou helps you out. If I were you, I wouldn't come out of my room the next couple of days, lest people harbor any ill intentions. That night was the saddest night that Lu Jun had spent since she entered the palace. And for the first time, she realized what a burden it would be, how suffocating it would feel to look on and do nothing. What happened? Why is her illness gotten worse now? You're not doing your job well. 
pardon me for saying, Grand Concubine Joe is getting old. It's normal for her condition to be unstable. Rather than reprimanding these ladies who serve her, shouldn't you make preparations? And in your opinion, how much time does she have? Three to five days at least, eight days at most. I see. It seems it's heaven's will. Madame Ron, the Grand Concubine's very ill. I don't think the medicine has any effect. How about the sorcery dance? She's Chi Hu after all. They have great witch doctors. If we can get a witch doctor to do the sorcery dance, her condition may improve, right? I don't believe in sorcery, but I have heard it said that witch doctors of the Chi Hu tribe do have their ways. That they can do wonders for their tribe's nobles. Madam, the Grand Concubine has always been affable. Please find a witch doctor for her. It's not my decision. I'll inform Concert Show. Wait! What are you up to? Explain yourself! Hooray! What's the meaning of this? Actually, I think the same as you do. I feel regret for poisoning her like that. I've read scriptures for her for six years. How can I stand by and watch her die? So if I can get her a witch doctor and a chance, I'll have done my duty to her. Believe what you want. Hey! What is your plan? We'd like to know. Evan tells me. If she drinks the miracle medicine, she's sure to recover. What miracle medicine? Take her. She favored most among you. With a piece of flesh near her heart, make her a soup to drink. The Grand Concubine will recover fully. This is nonsense! Who would use such methods to save people? Lu Chen, please calm yourself. The witch doctor didn't say use your flesh. Or are you scared to face death? Not willing to spare a little flesh to save her? It seems that she doted on you in vain. And after she promoted you to second rank palace maid too. But in her time of need... This is slander! You're clearly in league with them! You... Uh, uh, let me go! Let go, uh, Sister uh, Lu! Let us go now! Let go! Let go! Madam, uh, Lu Jen is Grand Concubine Joe's favorite personal maid. But she's afraid of death. At the critical moment, she shows disloyalty. It's a changing hall matter. Settle it amongst yourselves. Yes. <gasps> now don't worry. I just need a little flesh. Just a little piece. It won't hurt much. This is how you show your loyalty to her. No, no, don't! <laughs> Please! Enough. When will you stop this farce? La May, what have you come for? It's come to Madame Lo's attention that this place is a mess now. She asked me to come and see. Look at this. You've summoned a witch doctor and restrained a maid? Do you think this is an opera? You, release her. Uh, but Madame, we need her. Keep quiet! <laughs> This is your place. I didn't want to intervene, but this is simply outrageous. Even Madame Lo won't stand for it. That's why she sent me here. Oh, Rune Young, you've been with Concert Xiao and Madame Wang for many years, right? How can you not see what they're up to here? You're even condoning a human sacrifice? Can you bear the consequence when His Highness blames you for indulging in witchcraft, leading to a death? Well. That's not my intent. From the way you're dressed, you're a first-ranked maid? Yes. Since you're a first-ranked maid, you must be a trusted aide to your master. So since you have such a belief in that witch doctor, cut off a piece of flesh around your own heart and make with that a soup to heal her. Oh no! No, madam! Please spare me! Please spare my life! 
silly girl. You were just trying to persuade Lu Zhen, though. It's hard to show your loyalty, right? So why plead for your life? Don't waste time. I have to get back and report to Madame Lo. Sister, just a small piece, okay? Do it yourself, and you can still live. No, no. If you can heal her by sacrificing a little bit, she'll reward you. Let you leave. There. You take a piece of her flesh. Prepare the soup for your master. Ah, 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 ah. 